So it's Halloween time again and we're in one of my favourite places. It's Huntington Castle and I'm here with one of the owners, Harry Durden Robertson. The castle is going to be spruced up for Halloween. It is. It's already spooky at the best of times, Ooh. but at Halloween we really ramp it up and so we've got it uh, decorated or kitted out for Halloween. We have real ghosts, of course. We'll of be telling course. all about them. Yeah. This is the first kind of room yeah. we'll be seeing. up the stairs now, we're in the corridor. I'm going to head into the dining room, right at the heart of the castle. I have to say, I feel a little bit uneasy already. Good, that's what Does we want. Does it get worse? Oh yeah. Oh, worse. All right, let's just do it. Let's go. I believe in ghosts. I think yeah. they're very real. So do I. Ah, now tell me about this picture because there's a bit of history behind this. Picture. There is. So this lady here is Barbara Samadra. So she is by far our most frequent ghost. Is she the only ghost though? Or no, is there... we've got lots of others and every yeah. year I talk about, you know, in the tour, the real ghost stories that we have in okay. the house and I'm really not making them up either. This is one of my favourite rooms in the castle. It's called the Goddess Temple. Yes, that's Absolutely right. love it. Now, there's something to see literally everywhere, but there's also a little, a little secret door. There is. Back, yeah. in, but back before this was the temple, this was uh, the kitchen and the dungeon. Okay. And we do actually have a prison cell back there that was Ooh. used on occasion, yeah. And it's very cruel because you'd be in there, you wouldn't be fed, and uh, the fireplaces would be right beside you where they're doing all the cooking. The tour is broken into kind of two separate parts. That's right, yeah. Right? So we've got the, the main house uh, with about five or six rooms that they'll go into, uh, which is the bulk of the tour, mm -hmm. and then we'll be going outside as well towards the end and doing a little bit more outside than we've done in previous years. 